Well, this one means a lot. <laughs> What's the unboxing? What it be? Well, I don't know. Shut up and see. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. This book is a huge personal grail of mine. The Butcher Boy was published by Suntup because I begged for it. I actually have the documentation to prove that. The only problem is that when it was published, I was unemployed for over a year at that time. I still bought the numbered and the artist edition anyway. I did get to interview David Lupton and Patrick McCabe, which was one of the biggest honors of my life. And I counted myself beyond lucky right there. My favorite publisher did my favorite book, and I got to talk to my favorite author. Boom, put a bow on it. We're done. We're good. And all very lucky to, to be in a position where I was able to at least get the numbered and the classic or artist edition with the funds we had. So the books came out in May of 2022. I actually unboxed the lettered edition, which was a gift from the publisher, Paul Suntup, here in Tennessee. The first book I ever unboxed in my new location. Very symbolic. A lettered edition. Never even thought I would own a lettered edition, let alone of The Butcher Boy. Mind-blowing gift. Thrilled to get it. And um, thrilled to start my new life in Tennessee and the channel with that book. I also got a, a remark, an original piece from David Lupton as a thank you for the interview and the support. Again, a tremendous gift a huge honor and a gem in my collection. A little bit later, the artist edition was published. And uh, at, at the time, the artist edition was published. Steve Sargent at Analytica Books made an announcement saying they had 20 copies of the Butcher Boy artist edition with signatures from Patrick McCabe and remarks from David Lupton drawn directly in the book. And a third of the profits were going to go to UNICEF, so a charity. And he worked really hard to wrangle the signatures and the remarks. And at the time when he announced it, I'm like, I've already overextended myself getting the numbered and, and the artist editions. There's, there's no way I can get this too. It was, it was a little pricier. It was about $225 or 225 pounds, pounds sterling, analyticas in... England. And I just couldn't, do, I, I, I said, you know, I got to count my blessings and I have to push away from the table at some point. I cannot keep doing this. I got the numbered, I got the artist and I got the lettered and this original remark. I've already, I've already gotten more than I deserve. And so I had a pass on it. But as someone who loved that book and, and adored Suntup, it seemed like it needed to be on my shelf, but I had to walk away. And since then, I have gotten the dummy copies of the books that uh, that Suntup used to create the book. So these are these are books that are bound in all the materials with the uh, the approximate page count, so the publisher can get a sense of what the final book will look like, so you can start building the enclosures and all that other stuff. And I got those too. So I, here I am sitting on the ultimate collection. Um, the lettered, the numbered, the artist edition, the two dummy books, and an original remark from David Lupton. I mean, that's just, just a treasure trove of goodness. And yet I still was missing that gem, that, that final piece that needed to come home to make it the ultimate Butcher Boy collection. So it just sat there in my mind all this time, and I knew that if I ever had a change in my financial standing that that was one one thing I needed to correct. And you know me, I don't go off the secondary market. I don't need to fill holes in my collection. I let things go. I'm easygoing, just let it flow on by. But that one did not sit well with me. I felt I had duty to own that book. So then my financial situation did change. And I reached out to Steve at Analytica Books and I said, hey, do you have any more of those? I don't even. I didn't. Rem I didn't even know his website, his books, his bookstore, or anything. I, I didn't. I vaguely remembered. I just remembered it was Steve Sargent. So I, I messaged him on Facebook. He's like, "Yeah, I actually got one copy left. 
one, one of the 20. And, um, and, it, and you know, I'll hold on to it for you if, if you want. And I said, no, no, I, I, I feel horrible if you, if you miss out on a sale. Don't hold it for me, but I will be back in touch with you to, to pick it up if I can. And I was able to get it. And I thought, you know, all this time, those 20 copies had gotten down to one copy by the time I needed it. And, and that was, that was the, the one copy he needed to sell to clear out his inventory. And I thought that was just the universe setting itself right, knowing that we could all move along as in existence now that Jeff had, had gotten that last butcher boy. And he's a great guy. Steve is a great guy, very communicative, has a lot of amazing books on that Analytica website. He had a lot of uh, remarks, and he showed me his personal remark for 1984 with uh, Jim Burns, who did the art. Uh, amazing stuff. This guy is a, is a collector, a seller, and a, and a fan, an appreciator of these fine press editions. And um, so if you are somebody in the UK or, you know, you know, across the pond from the States and you want Sun Tough books, start at Analytica. You can get a book and lower your shipping costs by going to him. I, I highly recommend it. And just go see if no matter where you live, if he has some of these out of print titles that you've missed out on, he, they might still be hanging on there. You might be able to get one, score something you've been looking for. I'll put the link in the description here. And just know he's, he's a great guy, very nice guy, and, and um, ships really well. You'll see in this unboxing. And uh, I was really happy. And this, this closes a chapter in the best possible way. I'm so thrilled. But you'll see. So let's get into this. First of all, it is, it's in a broken binding box. Now, I've never collected anything from broken binding, but they do really cool rebinds. And there are a number of books that I saw them do that I would want that I just never did. So I got a broken binding box as a bonus. Oh, here's this. All wrapped up. Very, very... Uh, Awesome wrap job. Very well protected. I don't know what this paper is called. It's like a corrugated, it's like a cheese grater. You could grate cheese with this afterwards. If that's, you know, if that's, if you're so inclined. So, lots of bubble wrap. Great packing job. No complaints here. Oh, and here it is. So this is a cool touch. Um, it's still got shrink wrap around the slip case. That's a cool touch because it adds just a layer of non-scuff protection. It also holds your bookmark in place. And um, Analytica bookmark here. Very cool. Plug for the website. Um, and, and this card here. Boom. Little business card. So again, if you are in the UK and you want a US publisher, Analytica is the way to go. But oh my God, let me see what this is all about. This is the artist edition converted into a classic edition. Look at that. <laughs> Patrick McCabe signed right there. Patrick McCabe signature in my artist edition. The signatures in the front, in the back, is David Lupton's signature. That's like it is in all artist editions. But where this diverges beautifully, we have an original sketch from David Lupton. Look at that, amazing. That is just amazing. It had this piece of paper to keep um, the pencil lines pristine. But oh my God, that is... That is magnificent. I do feel a sense of completion. My Butcher Boy set was not complete until just this second. I'm so glad I was able to get this before it was gone. I can say I have the complete Butcher Boy set. I have two signed first editions. I don't have a signed UK first edition, so maybe I should get that. 
But as far as my sun tubs go, I don't think you can get a more complete set than what I have on my shelf. And um, it, it does mean a tremendous lot to me that these books even exist in the world, let alone have a home on my shelf. So thank you, Paul Suntup, for doing this book. Thank you to Steve Sargent for uh, getting this, the upgrade. It's so desperately needed. Uh, what a treat. What an amazing treat. So, and thank you all for being here to share in my joy at this moment, my shelves are full, as is my heart. Thank you for joining me this time. I hope to see you again next time. And in the meantime, stay frosty.